Hello there, it's Michael here at The Village Optician and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about today about some of the tests that we do, a one test in particular that we do in an eye test because people always ask about this one test. You see, as opticians, we seem to be obsessed with red and green. We seem to always be asking, is it better on the red? Is it better on the green? Um, you know, is it more blurred on green? Is it more blurred on red? Things like that. We always seem to be going to this red and green thing for some, some reason. Okay. Um, you know, if there's something you can see, you can guarantee an optician will stick it on red and green and then ask you all about it. So there's a really good reason for using the red and green. And it's a little test that I absolutely love. Um, because it really helps me to find and fine-tune that prescription for your glasses for looking in the distance okay now the reason I'll explain sort of how it works and why we do it it's all to do with the wavelength of light okay so we've got our UV wavelengths at one end of the spectrum of, of, uh, of light waves and then we've got infrared right at the other end of the spectrum okay now in the middle of that we've got our visible light now, visible light is obviously the light that we use to see. That's what our brains are built for, our eyes were built for. So we've got this little packet in the middle of all of that light spectrum of visible light. And so what we're talking about there with the spectrum of light is the different wavelengths of light. So you've got very short wavelengths of light, which is a UV, and you get the wavelengths gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, all the way up to infrared, which is longer wavelength light. Now, so you've got this nice little spectrum in the middle, which is the colours that we can see. Now in the middle of that, you've got yellow. Okay, your sort of white, yellowy light in the middle. Now that is the, that's the stuff we use. So the little test that we do about red and green and whether things look clearer on a red background or they look clearer on a green background is all to do with the wavelength of the light. So at the one end of the visible spectrum, we've got our green light. At the other end of the visible spectrum, we've got our red light. Okay, so if something is standing out more on a red background, we know where the light packet is falling onto the back of your eye. So if you think of the visible light as a little packet including all of the colours, okay, so we've got green at one end of it and red at one end of it, and then we've got our like sort of whitey yellowy stuff in the middle. So we want to move that little packet of light forwards and backwards to get the focus perfect on your retina okay the bit of the back of your eye which is going to do your vision so it tells us what we want to do with the light so if say we are finding that things look a lot clearer on a red background we know that we want to give you some minus power to move that focus around if things look really clear on a green background we want to give you a little bit of plus power to sort of shift the focus a little bit now we're talking movements in nanometers here we're talking tiny little fractions you know in this but it's a really simple test for us to do and gives us great results okay so that's how that works oh and another little thing about that test there is no right or wrong answer we are not looking for a specific answer if they look equal that's wonderful that's kind of where we want to be okay we want you to be about about equal on them or maybe slightly clearer on the red because that helps your eye to just use its own focus a little bit more okay so we always remember in a lot of the tests that we do there is no right or wrong answer we are not looking for a specific answer if something looks the same that's fine okay so that's a little bit about the red and green test we call it the duochrome test and as i say i personally love it because it helps me to really fine tune those prescriptions and get your vision as sharp as i can get it to be okay